Hi there, this is Veronica and today I have Obed with me and we are going to demonstrate to you how to do the moonwalk. So if you have Kira's 101 Dog Tricks book, you can turn with me to page 174 and you have the moonwalk trick over here. Right, so before we start teaching the dog how to do the moonwalk, which is basically the dog moving backwards while in a bowing position all right the dog should know either he should know how to bow and go backwards or a down and going backwards so what i've done is i've taught him how to go down and then move backwards so what you want to do is face the dog have him in either a down or a bow position we do whichever works for you and holding a treat in one hand in a closed fist place it by his nose and you, what you want to do is you want to move in towards him so as you move in towards him use what I do is I use my other hand and I guard his shoulder preventing it from coming up because that would be the natural instinct to get up so I keep them in the down position and I hold the tree moving it towards him so that he will have to go backwards and that's how he, will, he has learned how to do the scoot position so let me get him up and we'll show you what to do all right okay boy are you ready come on let's go up up you go mm, okay up you go okay here come come please here okay take a bow all right okay come come here boy yeah. okay down down yeah okay scoot scoot oh back 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 okay i'll try to get him over this side so that you can see it better. Okay, come on, yeah. Come, yeah, come on. Okay, yeah, this way. Come here, boy. Down. Okay, down. Down, this way. <laughs> okay, come, come here. Come here. Okay, down. Yes. Scoot. Scoot. Yes, good. Scoot. Okay, can we do it this way, boy? Okay, come here, come here, boy. Come. knows how to do it okay you can actually um, stop the guarding but then that's what you want him to do good job yes treat him while in position and mark it even the slightest movement back a small slight movement you want to encourage him to do it so you would say yes and treat him while in position what I tend to do also is rather than holding it uh, holding the treat in my closed fist, I tend to leave it open slightly so that he tends to munch on it. And while he's munching on it or trying to get at the treat, he would start to go backwards because I'm moving my hand towards him. So he has no choice but to go <coughs> backwards. Come, boy. Yeah, come here. Yeah. Okay, back. Scoot. Scoot. Yeah, scoot. So you see, he's trying to get it and yet he's. Moving backwards. Good, good. Yes. Good boy. Okay, so that's how um, you teach your dog how to do the scoot, or also known as the moonwalk. Right? It's a fun trick, and as you progress, you want to raise the criteria. And I will try the next. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to stand up and get him to do it. All right. Come on. Come on. Come here. Good boy, okay, down, down, okay, all right, okay, down, down, okay, scoot, scoot, yes, right, down, 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 come, down, come on, here you are, down, come here, okay, okay, scoot, yes, okay, good boy, all right, so, that's it for now, okay, just a short recap again, have you done? Either a down or a bow position, whichever works for you. Hold the treat in your in one hand, and with your other hand, guard your shoulders from coming up, and move the hand of the treat, move it in towards the dog, and as you also move 
towards the dog so that he goes backwards. So you can teach him to go back, all right? Or you can use the word scoot, whichever works for you. Or you may want to start with the back and then later um, move on to a term that you would like to use. And for me, I use the word scoot. And that's it for now. Happy trick training. Bye.